Um, so, uh, you know, Kurobara, you'll hear that noise, and I'm not gonna like make you roll for this and assist. You can look up and you'll see this. You'll see this situation when two, the two of them have come out. One of them's near a gate; the other one's wandering about twenty or thirty paces away. Yeah, All right. Better be careful. They don't make this too hard because crime time sure. So, I don't know if uh, Rosen can see me or like get a signal, but my intention is to try to go around to the other side of the building where they aren't. <laughs> and then maybe try cutting the chain link bench. With the okay, bench. go ahead. If you want to do that, make, go ahead and make a roll of mine because you're trying to find the other side of the building. Evasion and a bonus D8 because you have a distraction. All right. Yeah. We need to get some more espionage skills mixed up in our classes. Well, you got. You guys have a. You guys are criminals, so you have a fair amount of these. <laughs> Uh, your favorite oh. use is stealth. You may reroll that d6. Yep, may as well. Isn't there like a feat for hey, like, rerolling two. twos as well? Uh, no. There, there is a feat to reroll everything. Oh. That might uh, be interesting. But there isn't one to reroll twos. Also, the problem with rerolling twos is what if you reroll and it comes up ones? So that's why we made the roll reroll ones, because you can't roll it worse. Well, that's like the whole risk factor. It's still a failure. It's not like it can get any worse. Something to think about. Well, uh, but two successes, Kurabara will break away and the guard won't notice. Uh, Rosen, you'll see Kurabara moves. He wanders off deeper into the industrial complex. Okay. Um, let's see. So I guess if I wanted to follow him, I could, you know, mimic his steps, but on the other side. I, I, are we on, like, opposing sides of the building? You're on opposing sides. You, you, you found a much better hiding place than he did. Also, I'm assuming that it's crime time. You would know to split up. So yeah. yeah, you you can go ahead. You can go ahead and make the same roll. Mind evasion and a bonus D eight. Mind evasion. Let's see. So that's a D six, two D eight. Oh, that's one, two, three, four, four successes. Oh yeah. Uh, well, did you want to backstab Kurabara? You you can easily do so. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I like having my connection to the Yakuza. <laughs> okay. It's a uh, career path that I'm heavily considering. Right. So so the camera, of course, is going to follow Kurabara as he kind of moves a little bit, looks to see if any of those guys are looking. It's hard to tell where they're looking because they're wearing those goofy masks. Um, another thing that you guys can't help but notice, usually the virtual reality masks, I mean, they're wearing the same Nii uh, brand that you guys use. Uh, they're supposed to have power lights on them to tell you that they're on. Uh, these don't. These guys are completely dark. Um, and Weird. so, Kurab uh, yeah, Kurabara is being a <clears throat> Rosen, you will, with your agile crime time reflexes, jump around and get ahead of him. Uh, and um, now, the entire place looks to be fenced off. Uh, it looks like the fence is in reasonably good condition and has razor wire uh, across the top of it. But something that you guys will notice uh, that's a little unusual is there is a not covered in dust and rust, a modern looking truck here. Oh, man. Well, it makes is sense. That's how they time? got here. Like normal people. <laughs> I hope my crime time training involves wiring trucks so we can bash through this fucking fence. Probably could do with craft. Uh, I have a Unless crash. it seems likely that this truck could actually crash through the gate. Oh, easily. That gate is flimsy. Oh, okay. hell yeah. Okay. okay, well, crime time. Does sabotage help me with... Yes! Yes, it does. It's, it, it would be craft and sabotage. It is so... a modern-looking modern biofuel truck. Okay. Okay, just truck. like a regular pickup truck or something, or a box uh, it's, truck. Or... It's a box truck, a 10-wheeler. Got it. Okay. Uh, so all that really matters is, is there anyone in the cabin? And I guess we can find out what's in the back no, later. In, fa in fact, this is a, a, this is requires a <clears throat> manual driver. This is like, an old, like a vintage truck, like 40 or 50 years old. But it looks like it's reasonably well-maintained. There's nobody in the cab. Uh, the windows are down. Mm -hmm. So you can get inside it, but uh, there is no key or uh, keypad. You'd have well, to wouldn't you know what? I'm a criminal. 
So I can easily br uh, try to break the lock and or pick it, and then yeah. try to the windows hot down. I could just... yeah, the window. Yeah, so I can easily break the lock, and yours, is, you know, the windows down. You can just reach over like. Don't that. don't steal my thunder here. All right. Um, hey, let's just try to hot wire this and get the fuck out hot here. wiring a modern car is somewhat difficult because they have chips inside them, but it's not impossible. But it is fifteen years old. Uh, yeah, but fifteen years old would be from the future. Old. Yeah. <laughs> 15 years old today would be 2002. So hmm. yeah, we don't it, need it to. Even if there's an auto kill switch, they usually take a few seconds to kick in. All we need to do is bust down a fence. That's right. All right. So uh, in order to in order to hotwire this car, it would be mine and craft. You get an extra D12 if you have sabotage. I have sabotage, and I have <laughs> we this. do. Uh, so one of us could easily help the other, and What's we have your craft? basically. Uh, D8, D6. Okay, you're doing this. Uh, I'm going to assist you, though. Okay, yeah, okay. so you start describing, it's like, it's not just the wires we have to cross, you know, and you also say, tell them, like, don't worry about the kill switch, we just need to get the engine activated, because it's not that far from the gate. Uh, sabotage a D12? Sabotage is a bonus D12. Mm -hmm. Bypass security systems is a bonus D12. There you go, there's your free extra D8 on top of all of that. All right, watch me ruin this. Oh no, you did it! <laughs> no, I ace it. <laughs> oh my god, you now kill switch. What's car. that? Someone ripped it out. How weird. Yeah, it's oh, like no. okay. I, I need you to look for the Z80 logic board. Yeah, now I need you to, like. Whoa, wait. Yeah, I need you to look. At, all right, now once you found that, and then the engine just starts up. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> Yo, hey, uh, Griff, welcome to the crime mobile. Oh, yeah. Well, now we just gotta find out what loot's in the back of it later. <laughs> this is a biofuel, uh, this is a biofuel 40-year-old truck. This makes all the noise in the world. All the noise in the world, but it's all of ours. Hey, kid, uh, you got a license, by the way? Driving is the transport skill. Do either of you have transport? No. No. <laughs> Which one of you has the highest speed attribute? I, I got D8. D6. That'd be me, then. All right, I'm the adult. Get in the side key seat, kid. You probably want to buckle up. Uh, I need you to go ahead and make a roll. Uh, if you just want to, yeah, I need you to make a roll of speed, mind, and transport. Since you don't have transport, it's speed, mind. All right. Just don't fumble, man. You don't roll all ones. You put the you grind the gears and put the truck in reverse oh, back uh, into something. You might want to use your personality if you really don't. Want to I I think I probably do because this is kind of important. Because I don't want to crash it either. Uh, yeah. D D twelve for personality. And what's your personality? Excitable and oh ah, man, is this, this going to be great? This is going to be great. You jump up and down. I <laughs> literally have the window rolled down, and I'm just screeching like a pterodactyl. Uh, go ahead and roll a D twelve. That's a single All right. success. Because with no successes, you wouldn't crash the truck, but you'd be like you know reverse, getting the gears moving back and forth. With one success, you'll get the car driving, okay? And you will see uh, that the figures, um, you know, hear the noise, and you'll see three of them appear in the road. Um, this is where it gets a little tricky, because one of them is going to move in front of the truck to try and block your escape. Cold-blooded. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh no. no! If you want to cold-bloodedly hit somebody with the truck, I'm gonna need a roll of will and presence. The, he ought to know better. <laughs> okay, because I will assist in this. Rosen, you can assist. Oh, here? I have no Hands presence. Mental disease. <laughs> Witness me. I have me! no presence. Rosen has to like hype me up a little bit on. Rosen, this. hype him up. Witness me, shiny and chrome. <laughs> Crime time. Oh my god. Crime time. Crime time. Crime time. Is, is there another is this another murder I have to investigate? <laughs> it might yeah, be. But this one's actively our fault. Well, first, go ahead and roll the 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 will and presence to psych him up. This okay. is a, a tomb party group, I, with team heroes uh, and team criminals. That's a D4. Yeah. I just hope the body is still intact after this. If not, well, there, there it goes. Oh shit! I don't. <laughs> one day, no, no, I didn't can't even roll. I'm not even sure about it. Oh, uh, no, it, 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 it rolled. It rolled one. It, it rolled a d41, and then it rolled like eight of them. It's really silly. <laughs> oh, that's um, funny. 
You have one success. That's a D8 bonus. Uh, Griffin, I need you to make a roll of will, presence, and bonus D8. One. All right. So with one success, uh, you try to run the guy over. The guy tries to dodge. Uh, He does not because you rolled a seven. Uh, You hit him with a car. There is a thump noise. And then he goes under the wheels. Uh, You will continue to drive and you will hit the gate. When you hit the gate, I need you to make another roll of speed, mind, and transport to make sure you don't screw this up. Let's see. Speed, mind. It's that uh, Tales from the Crypt episode. Thanks for the ride, lady. Thanks for the ride, lady. That's actually creep show. <laughs> um, That's creep show, too. Was it creep show? No, no. It, I'm pretty sure it was Tales from the Crypt because it was, no. it was mixed in no, with a bunch of other anthology episodes. No, if it's thanks for the ride with the guy who keeps banging on the hood, that's creep show, too. That's the, actually a famous stunt. The guy in the yellow uh, jumper, he's looking for a ride, she accidentally runs him over. Yeah, that's the one with, uh, sure, it was $200, but that's like $50 a pop. I mean, come on. Um, I, 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 I'm going to shock her about how much I know that in the stream. Yeah, that, that's because also the stunt is famous because the stunt man's banging on the hood. But anyway, this guy's not banging on the hood. You hit the gate and don't, like, grind out the t- pop any tires or get the gate tangled up. Because it does, you know, <laughs> the, the motor in it makes a big spark and crashes. And you guys crash to the gate and you start driving down the road. Oh, uh, go ahead. You, guys, you guys will get several blocks away. Uh, you know, like, like drive. And the, also bumpy as hell because this road is not maintained. Uh, and you guys will start to get into, you know, out of the industrial into the city proper. When after about 20 minutes of driving, the engine dies. Okay. Um, during the time um, good, we good get enough. out of there, I'd be explaining what we need to do. Okay, so we're involved in a murder now. I'm glad I wore my prototype mask. Uh, it's like when you say, we're involved in a murder. I says, what? Because the engine's so loud. We're involved in a murder. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in reality, I'd be Hold up, let me pull out. over into the side alley where yeah, we can hide the okay. evidence. Is there a cloth and or rag in the truck? Any kind of thing? Um, in the cabin itself. You start, uh, you open the dashboard. Uh, um, you know, for a car that's like 40 years old, it's remarkably clean. There's no owner's manual. There's no, uh, the, you know, the, the, the glove box is empty. You start looking at the seats. There's no rags, no nothing. All right. I Wait, is it a bit? Is so, this a big um, rig or uh, it, it's a ten wheeler. It's a box car. You know, like yeah. those UPS trucks that that are the bane. Okay. Of your yeah, I, I pull this off into a side <laughs> alley to ditch it while the right. engine dies. So, yeah. And what I want to do is I want to actually uh, go to the back and see what's actually in the truck. Right. So you guys will coast to a stop. Uh, I guess Rosen, you'll examine the front, and Kurabara, you'll look in the back. Yeah. Uh, if I couldn't find the wipe the blood off and all that. I basically I'm gonna say it right now. I'm about to blow this car. I'm going to take my sock, dip it into the fuel tank, and set it on fire. It, it is that would draw bi- more attention. It, it is a biofuel car, so you can do that. All right, so, so Rosen, but Rosen goes to examine the front, and you go to examine the back. Um, okay, so you go to open the back of... Um, yeah, uh, you'll go to open uh, the back of the truck. And by the way, it's not like a UPS truck where you can walk from the front to the back to the deliveries. It's a box truck, like one of those U-Haul type trucks. So you actually yeah, you gotta go, go to the back, open up the big doors, going through there. Better okay. be prepared to use your danger sense. There is a minor setback because the back is padlocked uh, with a uh, number lock. Uh, let's see. Uh, trying the obvious 9444 it doesn't work. All right. Well, uh, you know, I'm I'm still a criminal, and so I will uh, go ahead and try using craft and sabotage to just kind of listen in as I right. turn it. Minecraft and sabotage to pick the lock. Meanwhile, Rosen, you go to examine the front of the of the car. There is no blood or anything like that on the front of the car. Hmm. You don't I guess see it's any. Better for evidence. Yeah. But my prints and, and DNA is still in the cab, so that's no good. Oh yeah. This truck's got to die. <laughs> bye bye, Crime Mobile. Bye bye, Crime Mobile. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, but four successes, like you just listen to it, click, 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 click. Ah, stupid. You know, I've been stealing bikes like this. You just open the padlock <laughs> contemptuously. Um, you have failed your family, padlock. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <yep>. <laughs> and Dishonor. You open- 
Okay, and you open up the truck. Uh, in the back of the truck uh, are um, six boxes. Uh, they're um, very tall. They're about two meters by one meter by one meter. Uh, well, I'd say they're tall. They're actually like stacked downwards. So there's a stack of about six boxes. They uh, are tumbled over because they weren't tied down and somebody drove the truck in a hurry. Gosh, what kind of idiot drove this truck? <laughs> um, uh, and they're large boxes, but they're not smooth on the outside. They've got those, uh, what I want to call crenellations, those little like X-shaped indents that make them more structurally sound, but reduce the weight. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah. So they look like shipping containers. They're made out of some kind of smooth metal. Ooh, out of metal. Do you could get one of your Yakuza buddies to come up here and pick up these shipments if they're worth anything? You know what? I bet they'd probably pay for the cleaner cost to just remove the evidence. If they get whatever's in this. Yeah, and they could take this truck and use it too. Well, so you're going to call the Yakuza and say, hey, I need you to come and pick up a truck. No questions asked. It's got six boxes. I don't know what's in them. No, let's You can have them. Just don't it. make anyone know it was me. Okay, the boxes are latched shut. Uh, so do you, you climb into the truck and try to open one of them? Yeah, oh, sure. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Is there some, something suspicious about the back of the truck? Is there, uh, like, if I look at the ceiling of the truck, is there a motor like attached to the door? No. Is there like a tr uh, giant guillotine ready to come down on us? The is truck there a trap in this truck? <laughs> the truck is not obviously trapped. If what was in the boxes was volatile, they probably would have exploded due to the rough treatment. What is curious about the truck is how ridiculously unmarked it is. There's no company logos on it. Uh, there, like I said, there was nothing. There was no like um, vehicle yeah. registration or um, you know anything inside. And now that you've got it all by itself, you also notice it doesn't have any license plates. Oh, good thing we didn't drive this more like than twenty a minutes. Wet dream, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, like they'll the love this for sure. Wet dream. Yeah. So. Um, I guess let's try to break open one of these locks. Uh, the the boxes themselves are not locked. They're just latched shut. Okay, let's... Hold on a second. How big are they? Uh, like I said, they're about two meters long by one meter by one meter. You know, like okay. a coffin. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, gonna, boy. Let's... I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna tap on the side of the box. You open uh, it up and inside is you! You tap on it, it makes, uh, it, it has, um, a solid feeling to it, uh, but not solid all the way through. It, it, it's like metal. The closest thing I would compare it to is aluminum. It, it feels like it's aluminum. Rosen, I'm sorry, that's me. Now, now <laughs> six coffin-shaped boxes made out of aluminum are actually pretty expensive. I mean, yeah, but like, oh, yeah. Fuck, it's some scary shit in there. <laughs> this, this... Is this something we could sell to the Yakuza? Well, let's find out what's inside of it, and Kubar will just kind of undo the latch. I pull mm -hmm. out my fucking beating stick. Yeah, you pull out your beating stick, you undo the latches and the one on the top, and flip it open. Inside is foam. Looks a lot like the foam that you saw for that weird helmet that you guys stole. Except this foam isn't cut in the shape of small electronic parts or guns. It's cut in the shape of a human body. Oh, so that's what that is. It's I... empty, though. Rosen puts two and two together and says, the, uh, <laughs> uh, Those things! <laughs> those weren't Should people! We... Those were machines! That makes crime time oh worthless! God. That wasn't a murder! <laughs> that was just more sabotage. Look, I honestly feel a little bit relieved about that, but... Who would order this many sex bots? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> God, and who's programming what a freak. shit? I didn't set it to auto blow. <laughs> Seek all the shit. Seek all Actually, the shit. if they were all. So Kobar just kind of scratches his pompadour a little bit and kind of goes, So what was the point of all that then? You know, this is a what were they the after? Woman, Who set these. Sex bots up there and pretended they were nerds. I need both of you individually to make rolls of speed observation and an extra d12 from your streetwise. Okay, so a d6 and a d12. Hey, two. Not bad. 
two, one. Okay. Uh, well, with two successes, you know, <laughs> Kurabara will notice at first a um, uh, a police car uh, is coming. Uh, uh, is <laughs> does a drive by. Uh, it it, does, it drives past the dark alleyway that you guys are in, um, but doesn't stop. It's time to get out of here anyway. Hold on. Did you see license plates on that police car? Uh, with two successes? Yes. Okay. All right. Then it's registered. That's I mean, it didn't have its lights on, but a police car did a drive-by. But on the, on the other hand, like, you guys don't know if that's a regular patrol or if they you know, respond to a call. You don't know what those... You just saw a police car. I just wanted to point that out. I mean, undoubtedly, someone must have reported, I heard a truck crash through a gate. Well, what if we... Maybe. Um... Or okay. if the gate uh, it, the gate did have a security system and a camera on it, it maybe it was alarm. You don't know. So all right. So here's something we can do. We can ditch the truck in a location and tip off the yakuza to pick it up at a time. We we car. already did that. We can just go ahead and get out of town. And if they want to throw okay. us some money later, all the better. All right. First off, I'm gonna. You need to tell them that I'm gonna take a part of the truck. Oh God, what is it called? Don't wait. Wait. wait, wait. Uh. Is it a fuel plug or is it the... Ah, oh, shit. I'm trying to take part of the truck that's easily replaceable, that stops the ignition from working, and it's not something... Oh, they oh. will have to drive it off if they want to take it. The distributor. Oh, yeah, I'm taking the distributor cap on. So, so you, you go and pop the hood and grab the distributor. I mean, like, like they, they, you, they can repair that. It's not that hard, but it will make the truck unmovable yeah. until they do. And since it's a 40-year-old truck, it might be an adventure to find this. Yeah. All right. So it's time for us to uh, vanish from the scene. Though. Um, I try to clean up as much of right. like fingerprints and everything on the truck. So, and... so, so you guys decide to leave. This is going to be a roll of mind evasion uh, and deceit with an extra d12 if you have streetwise. This is wipe down the truck and then leave. Mind one d6. Mind evasion. Seat. And an extra D12 because you're career criminals. So who these D12? Good points. No, no, it's mind evasion, deceit, and the D12 is from Streetwise. Okay. And then you said career criminal bonus D12. No, oh, sorry, that's Streetwise. Okay. Sorry. Not only two D12s. See, one thing I like to emphasize: our games tend to be very simulation oriented, where it's like if you guys are like do it. So you guys have a job, and that job makes you naturally good at certain things. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. Three successes, and I'm sure, you know, Rosen's not going to roll all ones. You guys wipe down the truck. Sweet. Look at my ridiculous amount of rolls. Okay, and escape with the distributor. And you can also, if you uh, want to... That's uh, five you, successes. Five successes. And also, you can take a, some pictures with your camera, so you can have something to look at later. Don't yeah. post on right. social media. Oh, hold on a second. Before all of this ends, and everything is gone, we leave, yeah. Uh, I want to take a look at the um, oh, what's it called? The VIN number on the inside of the door. Okay. Uh, you take a picture of the VIN number. There is a VIN number on the inside of the door. Because it is illegal to remove those entirely. It's like super right. illegal. The so car, has, yeah. Bag up the side of your bed. Right. The car hasn't been scrubbed down. It's just not street legal. You quickly take a scan of that and some very photos. You have six successes. So one, yeah, one yeah. photo that I want is of the uh human-shaped styrofoam boxes. Yeah. You, with, between your four and, uh, well, yeah, three and six successes, you guys, like, you know, get all this info and get out of there. And wipe all the DNA away. Yep. Well, right. And so, uh, well, it's also a 40-year-old truck. It might be full of <coughs> DNA. Mm -hmm. um, so you wander off, uh, off into the night with that weird information. So you guys will get back home and, wow, that was a sizable adventure for, uh, you know, you guys had various encounters do you get on social media and talk to each other about what you encountered during the day <laughs> what no. kind of idiot criminal goes like yo just finished crime time it up there's over. people who I, do that honestly the surprised. only thing i'm waiting i'm going to talk to anyone about it's probably my yakuza friends and that's going to be when they find it and take everything and go we have it all what is this Okay, so uh, I know uh, we, we got in like uh, two hours. I hope everybody was pretty cool with the jumping around like that, but I know 
We're all really busy, yeah. and I know we hadn't played in a while, but I want to make sure we got some some game time in. I'm thinking that since we have to wrap it up for at least two of us, for for me and now, this is probably a good closure point. 